Item number SCP-5427, Object Class, Keta, Special Containment Procedures, carried out under the guise of environmental conversation. The gloves affected by SCP-5427 are to be regularly sprayed with a erosion agent via boat and should any change in the effects of SCP-5427 on the cliffs be recorded. These erosion efforts are to be halted to enable observation. Publicly, storms caused by SCP-5427 are to be attributed to unique seabed formations in the Strait of Dover. Description SCP-5427 is a phenomenon which started in 1950, regarding periodic oddities in localized weather and its effects on a 13-kilometer stretch of chalk cliffs off of the coast of Kent, England. During the phenomenon, a thick fog with no apparent cause will form around the edge of the coastline in the region. At the same time, the coastal tide will intensify greatly, producing waves reaching heights of up to 300 meters, despite no geological support for such tide. The resulting storm may last anywhere between a few hours and three weeks, and will deposit vast amounts of pure chalk sediment onto the coastline, which will in turn quickly solidify and merge with the existing cliff face. Due to this, the coastline in the region expands at an extremely high rate of 20 to 40 meters per month. If the phenomenon is to allow to occur uninterruptedly, only the forward-facing original cliffs will be affected. This produced a narrow land bridge growing directly towards Calais, France. Addendum Annual Archive of SCP-5427 Activity and Its Effects Observation Report January 1st 1951. No alteration to the usual occurrence and effects. Expansion before operation. 26 meters. Note. Not applicable. Observation report. January 1st. 1952. No alteration to the usual occurrence and effects. Expansion before operation. 32 meters. Note. Not applicable. Observation Report January 1st, 1953 No alterations to the usual occurrence and effects Expansion before operation 30 meters Note not applicable Observation Report January 1st, 1954 No alterations to the usual occurrence and effects Expansion before operation 24 meters Note not applicable Observation Report January 1st, 1955 No alteration to the usual occurrence and effects Expansion before operation 32 meters Note not applicable Observation Report January 1st, 1956 No alterations to the usual occurrence and effects Expansion before operation 39 meters Note not applicable Observation Report January 1st, 1957 Slight alteration to usual occurrence and effects Expansion before operations 60 meters Note Increase of activity Corrosion efforts paused for one week to allow for observation Observation Report January 1st, 1958 No alteration to the usual occurrence and effects Expansion before operation, 67 meters. Note, activity has stayed at a higher rate than previous years for the last 12 months, adopted as new norm. Observation report, January 1st, 1959. No alteration to the usual occurrence and effects. Expansion before operation, 70 meters. Note, not applicable. Observation Report January 1st, 1960 Major Change to Occurrence and Effects Expansion Before Operation 
zero meters. Note, steady decrease in average activity along the coastline over the last few weeks. Major increase in one section of the coastline, but with little to no expansion towards sea. Erosion efforts ceased. Subsequent reports. January 2nd, 1960. A small ship has been run aground by cliff expansion under the surface of the water. The hull has been covered in rock. January 3rd, 1960. Expansion has ceased. Fog is rolling in and clearing up daily. January 6th, 1960. It has been noted that the international overbed flags present on the boat have been changing every time the fog comes and goes. Recording to the flags present has begun. January 6th, 1960. Lima. January 7th, 1960. Oscar. January 8th, 1960. November. January 9th, 1960. Echo. January 10th, 1960. Lima. January 11th, 1960. Yankee. January 12th, 1960, Sierra. January 13th, 1960, Tango. January 14th, 1960, Oscar. January 15th, 1960, Papa. January 16th, 1960, India. January 17th, 1960, Tango. January 18th, 1960, Papa. January 19th, 1960, Lima. January 20th, 1960, Echo. January 21st, 1960, Alpha. January 22nd, 1960, Sierra. January 23rd, 1960, Echo. Observation Report, January 24th, 1960. Major changes to occurrence and effects. Note, new behaviors have ceased. Expansion along the coastline has restarted. Observation Report, February 24th, 1960. No changes to occurrence and effects. Note, coastline has expanded 600 meters across the strait. Incident Report, 34271. Date, February 27th, 1960. Event, Series of massive waves similar to that of the SCP-5427 phenomenon generated off of the coast of Cali, France. The waves directly impacted the cliffs and caused massive deterioration. Cover-up operation is ongoing.